the anatomy of the hand starting distal to the wrist. Each of the digits has a metacarpal bone, the thumb metacarpal here, and then each of the four fingers, the metacarpal bones in the hand. Then each digit has uh, the proximal phalanx, which is proximal phalanx of the thumb, and then each of the four fingers, proximal phalanx. The thumb then only has two phalanges, the second being the distal phalanx. The rest of the, the digits, the four fingers, have middle phalanx and distal phalanx. Joints of the hand will go through CMC joints, articulating with the metacarpals at the base of the, the hand. Then the first CMC joint is at the base of the thumb. And um, then moving on, the MCP joints, the MCP joint of the thumb, the metacarpal phalangeal joint, and then the MCP joint of all four fingers. The thumb then has an interphalangeal joint, the IP joint, and the fingers have two IP joints, being the proximal interphalangeal joint, the PIP, and the DIP, distal interphalangeal joint of the four fingers. Tendons then, each finger has an extensor tendon with a common muscle belly, and then fingers of the index finger and small finger have an additional extensor tendon. The thumb has one major extensor tendon going in the hand that extends at the IP joint. And then moving over to the volar side, we have the flexor tendons. Each finger has two flexor tendons, one being the FDP, flexor digitorum profundus, that bends the finger at the DIP joint, and then the flexor digitorum superficialis, FDS, that bends the finger at the PIP joint. The thumb has one primary flexor, which is the FPL, flexor pollicis longus, that bends at the thumb IP joint. And lastly, naming the fingers uh, for for uh, simplicity, we'll have index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and small finger.